Stan came home from work one evening to find his youngest son, Tim, kicking and screaming on the living room floor. He was to start kindergarten the next day and was protesting that he would not go. Well, Stan's normal reaction would have been to banish the child to his room and tell him he just better make up his mind to go. He had no choice. But tonight, recognizing that this would not really help Tim start kindergarten in the best frame of mind, Stan sat down and thought, if I were Tim, why would I be excited about going to kindergarten? He and his wife made a list of all the fun things Tim would do, such as finger painting, singing songs, making new friends. And then they put them into action. We all started finger painting on the kitchen table, my wife Lil, my other son Bob, and myself, all having fun. Soon Tim was peeping around the corner. Next he was begging to participate. Oh no, you have to go to kindergarten first to learn how to finger paint. With all the enthusiasm I could muster, I went through the list, talking in terms that he could understand, telling him of all the fun he would have in kindergarten. The next morning, I thought I was the first one up. I went downstairs and found Tim sitting sound asleep in the living room chair. What are you doing here? I asked. I'm waiting to go to kindergarten. I don't want to be late. The enthusiasm of our entire family had aroused in Tim an eager want that no amount of discussion or threat could possibly have accomplished. Tomorrow, you may want to persuade somebody to do something. Before you speak, pause and ask yourself, how can I make this person want to do it? That question will stop us from rushing into a situation heedlessly with futile chatter about our desires. Music